Ahoy Rovers! Well, in the last video you saw me make those heavy structural fillets, and they're strong, but they're not strong enough. So in this video, I'll be making them considerably stronger. I'm Alan Mulholland, I'm a solo sailor, and this is the story of how I built my Wave Rover 650. Three years ago, I refitted a 40-year-old Contessa 26 and took her on an amazing 7,800 nautical mile ocean voyage. We crossed the Atlantic twice, but a knockdown on the second crossing and COVID-19 put an end to my solo circumnavigation. So now, I'm building a new boat, smaller, lighter, but more suited for a solo circumnavigation. The Wave Rover 650. So these joints, the transom hull, the stem hull, and of course the chines all have those heavy fillets and they need to be strong. They're, they're key joints in the boat. Now to achieve this, we have the fillets already in place, but I'll be adding a layer of 18 ounce biaxle tape over those fillets. And that's what's going to give us that tremendous strength that we need. But at the same time, keeping the boat very light. A lot to do, time to crack on. Well, the fillets have turned out really nice. So I'm all ready to do the next step, which is to hit them with a bit of sandpaper, just to make sure that any ridges I may have missed with the chisel is cleaned up. And then a uh, big cleanup, and then it's on to the next step, which will be putting biaxle cloth on these fillets. So part of our prep work today is getting peel ply ready. We'll be using it later on in the process. I just want to make sure that it's straight and in small enough pieces that I can handle. So here we go. It's easy to cut. There we go. And then I'll just put this off to the side and when we need it we'll just unfold it and it'll make our job so much easier with the biaxle. All right. All right, so I've taken my measurements for the biaxle, which are the same as the peel ply, and I'm just going to mark it out on this pre-cut strip. I had pre-cut the biaxle into 10 inch wide strips. Now I'm making it just a couple of inches bigger because I'll be able to trim it once it's wet and in place because uh, the bow has some um, some angles about it. Then you can use either a knife or scissors. I'm going to use the scissors on this. And I've, I'm going to put this, roll it up delicately, we'll be wetting it out a bit later, and I'm putting it with the peel ply so I know where everything is. So just to help with placing the biaxle and the peel ply, I want to give myself some lines to guide me where to center it. So this little block, I've cut it, it's five inches, and the peel ply is 10 inches wide. So I can just use my left hand here. Just like that. Well, 
Well, I'm all set on the inside. The radiuses are looking good. They've all been sanded up. I have an index line all the way around the transom. And it's the same at the bow. So I have my tool standing by. I have heat inside here. We're looking pretty good. We're just about ready to mix up the epoxy. So I'll be saturating the uh, biaxle right here on this piece of poly and I've got it standing by. I have the next one over here standing by for any residual epoxy. I have the peel ply standing by, a spreader and a paintbrush. Well, Rovers, today is a big day at Wave Rover headquarters. We're putting the biaxle on the chines. And once I get those on, well, that's more or less the hull complete as far as structure goes. Yesterday, Mrs. Rover and I, we put the biaxle on the stem and the transom, and it's hardened off, and I've keyed it in with a bit of sandpaper. And today, we've got Bill from Ambler Odyssey. We went and visited his boat shed there a few weeks ago and uh, Mrs. Rover of course and we're going to have a real team approach to getting this done in a timely fashion. It's cool out here. It's probably only about three degrees Celsius where I'm standing where we're prepping the biaxle but inside the womb it's it's about 16 degrees Celsius and it'll be even warmer by the time we start uh, putting the glass in. Anyway a lot to do Time to crack on. Here's the biaxle. Very, very stiff stuff. And really, you know, if it wasn't so stiff, I would probably lay this into uh, the fillet while the fillet is still wet. But because this is so stiff, I've had to let the fillets harden and then sand them. Anyway, I've got the team working on them down here. Bill, what are you doing? Well, you had pre-cut these to uh, just over seven feet and now we're cutting them down to seven foot two, so they'll be the length you want in the boat. Right, so right. So just roll it out, measure the length, make a mark, and cut. Excellent, thank you very much. You just don't see craftsmanship like this very much anymore. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Trover, smile for the camera, wave. Hello. <laughs> Terrific. It's good to have a team when you do this, and you'll see how this team is going to work very, very shortly.
to trim off that rough edge with a sharp knife and then get peel ply on it. But right now I need to get all the air bubbles out of this. <laughs> yeah, we're on final approach. One last piece and then, uh, then it's beer time. Beer o'clock. Everything has to be cleaned up after. It's an important part of the job. Uh, so this is just denatured alcohol I'm using. Um, I'm told that vinegar works. I uh, haven't used it, but uh, denatured alcohol certainly works. Acetone works, but really the fumes are quite strong. So this is a pretty good uh, medium approach. I'd like to take a moment to honor the Wave Rover benefactors. So what is a benefactor? Well, these folks have made a contribution of $100 US or more to the project, and their names will be affixed to a bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will be traveling with me on our circumnavigation. Now, these donations truly are much appreciated. Well, Rovers, make no mistake, that was a really big day, getting, getting the biaxle on there. I mean, that's four rows that run the entire length of the boat. It was about the same amount of work as putting the biaxle on the outside. Now, the biaxle just soaks up a huge amount of epoxy, and that's what the challenge is. And then, of course, putting the peel ply over top. Um, well, in the next episode, you're going to see how that all turned out because I'll be pulling that peel ply off and we'll get to see how much work it's going to save us in the long run. But for now, I'm leaving the boat covered, the heaters are on, we're going to let that stuff cook and the epoxy will do its good work over the next 24 hours and will be hard enough then to reveal. So until next time, Rovers, thanks for watching. Well, Mr. Speckles and I would like to take a moment to thank all the Wave Rover patrons whose pledges of support help power the Wave Rover project. Now, if you'd like to know more about Wave Rover's patron page and Benefactor's Bulkhead, I have links to both those pages in the video description. Now, another way to help Wave Rover, and it doesn't cost you a dime, is by sharing our content on your social media. So now, as always, Rovers, thanks for watching. Give us one more. Brilliant.